And now Twinkie Oki plus TV Africa head of creative special projects who was at the scene of the explosion joins me in the studio. Thank you for joining me, Twinkle. You're welcome. Now you want to bring us up to speed to the, the recent development at the site of the explosion at the Abula Do axis of Lagos State. Um, well, it was a really tragic, sad environment. Um, one of the good things we would be happy with was um, emergency response team were presently there. There were a lot of security um, operatives there who were helping to rescue those who were already victims of this um, tragic event. Um, the road leading to that vicinity was also cleared so that um, fire trucks, um, emergency and security personnel could gain easy access. Press could also gain easy access to film this. But totally, a lot of people had lost their houses, their means of livelihood. Um, many had f um, fallen casualties of this explosion and it was a really, really sad environment there. Um, roofs of buildings were blown out. We had young people on that rubbles the whole building had collapsed on people and tractors were there to try evacuate some of these blocks so they could rescue some of the victims. Um, in my presence, some of the people who had passed were removed from the rubbles. Um, we also saw um, a baby who was saved earlier before we got there. By God's grace, nothing even happened to the baby, but you know, her parents and her uh, sibling had already been seriously injured. Oh, and I said Friday, I do remember clearly that um, another body was retrieved from the rubbles and um, making a total number of um, casualties, 22. Um, many people argue the fact that our, our emergency response, if, if it was that emergency, it was that imagined and responsive that more, more of these people who died, more of these casualties would have been saved. How, how do you respond to this? Given someone who you've been on the ground and you've seen the whole situation and the whole rubble. Maybe if they were much present before I got there, maybe more would have been done. But as of the day I was present, um, security operatives were really heavy on ground. Um, NSCDC, um, police, um, Red Cross. Speaking from my point of view, on that day, there were a whole lot of people around. One of the stuff I'll also say is maybe the general public also needs to be um, educated on what to do in cases like this. Yes. Because one of the stuff we noticed was everybody was still trying to get their vehicles into that street, into the same road where these things were happening. We had um, lots of individuals, maybe they were residents, maybe they were passers-by, who were filled up in that environment just to look. Not really because they were participating in the rescue operations, but they filled the place just to get a glimpse of the whole operation. But in one way or the other, this was hindering um, movements. Maybe our um, um, emergency team could do much more by responding swiftly and on time, but also people need to know what to do in cases like this so yeah. that they don't hinder the re um, rescue processes. All right, now we're aware of the fact that there's a $2 billion now, um, year mark by the legal state government as relief fund. Are you privy to any of the victims who have yet to benefit from this um, relief fund as, as provided and you by the state government? Presently, I am not aware of anybody who has received this, but even out of the two billion, what I'm aware of is Lagos State has only marked about 250 million themselves. Um, is that enough? Definitely not. The rate and the scope at which damages happened in that place is way much more than what is uh, made available by the state government. Um, the amount of people displaced, the amount of businesses destroyed, the amount of lives lost, the bills that needs to be paid. And forget that we can see structurally a number of buildings being destroyed. Many other buildings have sh been shaken from their roots. Now, these buildings are no longer solid, even if you still see them standing. By the time maybe a structural engineer takes a good look at all these structures, you discover the damages is by far much more than we see. So if we take into account all of this, you discover that as a state government who cares for its people, 250 million at this time is pretty 
pretty too small to cater for this. All right. At the moment, what we see is the general outlook and um, state of being of the residents of Abule Ado, especially the victims of this of this um, sad incident, the explosion. Well, they are terribly shaken, but most of them believe, a whole long, um, large number of them believe it wasn't a pipeline or gas explosion. To move from most of the people we spoke to, they claim it's a bomb explosion. There were um, accounts that said they have experienced several pipeline explosions in the past. They were used to the process and this was definitely not in the same scale or scope as the other ones. Many of them um, were raised off from their buildings and thrown in different directions. Um, we had people who spoke on the nature of how this explosion happened and how there were no fuel on the ground that was um, increasing the fire. Instead, it was more of um, shock waves. Now, the government has come to say that it is a gas explosion from what we hear them. The NN, um, um, group managing director of the NNPC yes. have said it's a gas explosion from a truck who um, either by mistake or by accident had um, climbed on top of gas cylinders. From what I saw, except it's an extreme case of um, a whole lot of pile of gas, the rate of damage was too extreme to be, if it's by what is explained, yeah. just a gas cylinder or a few cylinders. The rate at which it traveled, there were videos that um, showed up online of that truck before the explosion took place. Yes, we saw the white smoke. Yes, we saw um, the whole scenario before it happened. Surprisingly, people saw that happening and didn't take to their heels. Instead, they stayed making videos, um, um, you know, just taking it with a pinch of salt. What resulted at the end of the day, if they had known, I'm sure more precautions would have been taken. Twinku, okay, thank you very much for joining us and You're for welcome. shedding more lights on sure. the plights of the victims of the Abuladu explosion.